What is up, sisters? Um, yeah, I'm running late because in Ca Southern California, when it rains, <laughs> people don't know how to function. It's like horrible. So um, in the group right now with Facebook, it just, it's taken a minute. So hi, Jennifer. I'm going to give you guys a minute to pop on. I got to go get my um, KitchenAid. Kylie's KitchenAid. Like it's the real deal you guys like it's it's going down I know you don't believe me because I'm in California but I'm pro like it's kind of it's kind of East Coast rain I feel like it is okay I think it is so how are you guys doing are you excited let's do this today what is going on I hope I don't run out of parchment paper I didn't even think of checking that Hello, parchment paper. I ran out of bags Oh, there's a, look, you guys, I just got a flash flood warning. Till two, see, I told you. That's my, that's just to, get out of there. Hi, Sessie. See, I told you it's really like, hell, it's really raining. It's happening. Hi, Erica. Oh my gosh, it's sunny in Seattle. I love it. My sister moved to Seattle. She loves it. Well, I mean, not in Seattle, close to Seattle. I actually have her address right here. I'm seeing her present. She took my niece and nephew. <laughs> so we're going to do something fast. cream cheese needs to be um, melted a little bit so let me just get that going so what we're gonna need is do you guys want me to go over my little shopping list first because that always is helpful you guys love those videos so I can give you a little shopping tutorial that I just because I just had to go to sprouts so let's do that first I even have a skincare bargain on there one of my favorite things is on sale Two of my favorite things are on sale. So let me give you this little sprouts like shopping thing. You're gonna like it. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do while I'm getting ready for this. I'm making cookies now, you're welcome. Way earlier than I need them. It's for my group, it's for you guys, I my coaching group and for the my, my Keto Soul Sisters group. Um, I am going to freeze them for an event. I do not need all these cookies in my face. <laughs> so just letting you know, but I wanted to get ahead of the game and give you guys, if they turn out well, if they're easy, you could see it. So let me make sure first I'm going to need butter. Um, the, so this, this came from Trader Joe's or I'm sorry, Sprouts right now. I'm thinking and talking at the same time. I got to be careful with that. So. This is a pasture-raised butter, grass-fed butter. I usually get Kerrygold, but this one is Vital Farms. I love Vital Farms. I love Vital Farms um, eggs as well. And it's on, they're on sale two for five. So that's a really good deal. Hi, Tamara. Yay, Erica, I'm so excited for you. Um, and then I got cream cheese. I just got plain cream cheese. It's not something I eat all the time. It's $1.99. Um, Lily's, if you're going to do any kind of chop, like baking with chocolate, I highly recommend the Lily's dark chocolate chips. They're my favorite. They are usually $7.99. I know, 
But right now they are on sale for $3.99 at Sprouts. That's a big one. So if you're gonna do this chocolate thing or need an alternative, I mean, even have a few, have eat a few chocolate chips as a, as a treat instead of having something that you shouldn't have will work. So um, go get these, just stock up on them for the holiday. If they're tempting you and throwing you off on your plan, based, I mean, depends on what your plan is, you should um, be careful with them. But I know I'm gonna be making some things for you guys. I'm also gonna host a party next week. So I stocked up on them right now while they're $3.99. I do like to snack on dark chocolate chips and I am in a very strict plan with my boot campers right now. So they will probably go hide in the outside of my fridge. <laughs> hey, it works. Let me just tell you that it works. So if you have something tempting that you cannot stop, you remove it from your environment, even if it means there's a, there's a certain place for this, but if it's something I want all day long and it's going to add up to throw me off my plan, I go hide it from, I don't hide it from myself, but by the time I get to my fridge, I'm, I'm like clear. I'm not, I'm good. I don't make it that far, put it that way. Hi, Sandy. Um, confectioner Swerve, I grabbed that, my favorite. I always have granular and Confectioner Swerve. I just got some water. I always get tons of water. Make some beans. Are you guys ready for the next one? I got almond flour. So because I was only at Sprouts, I got this, it's $11.99. Get it at Trader Joe's if you can get it or get the big bag at Costco, but I had to get it there because I wanted to come back and do this and I used all my almond flour. Um, Ultima, on sale right now, $14.99. Thanks Christina for telling me because I would have walked right past it because I don't need it yet. That's $5 off. So go stop, stock up on Ultima. Oh, I should check the, the sale date. Anybody knows when that sale will end? It'll probably end. I don't know when it'll end. I need to go get a few more though. Okay, so Ultima's on sale. That is beautiful. I love that. Okay, I did a skincare tutorial one time and I let you guys know one of my favorite inexpensive must-have products all the time is this Derma E Hydrating Mist. Can't see the box, but I'm gonna try to get it. It is on sale 25% off right now, so it's usually $13. It's $10. And one of the most inexpensive things that hydrates my skin, it has hyaluronic acid and green tea. I always spritz my skin. I do it before makeup, after makeup, when I want that glow and that hydration, especially this time of year. This bad boy is my number one tool. Number one tool. Because I don't overuse the other products. The other products that are $50, $60, like I, I just, I reserve those and the this spray all the time. That's a really good skincare tip. I love it. Any esthetician honestly would agree with me on that product. Okay, so I found this, you guys, and I'm excited, and I'll let you know what I create with it. Hopefully something tasty. Um, I just grabbed it. I was in a hurry, but I'm gonna, I'm, hopefully I can get some things out of it. I still think it's kind of like something for a treat, but it's, it's cauliflower-based baking mix. I'm gonna try it, and I'm gonna let you guys know. I'm kind of excited I'll let you know but crazy right crazy okay so first I'm gonna get now we're gonna do the cookies I'm gonna get the butter and then the cream cheese and make sure I get that where it needs to be right now So you're gonna have to have butter. Let me organize this so you guys can see this. Cream cheese, whatever. Almond flour, swerve, um, vanilla. I'm doing a sugar cookie, so I'm not gonna have the chocolate chips right now. Um, I need to get an egg. Let me get an egg. I think I'm gonna do this for a party, so I'm gonna double it. So I'm gonna try to tell you what I'll write is the original recipe in the description, but I am going to double this. I hope I don't get distracted. So stay with me, say hi to each other. 
We're in this for the long haul. Not that long though, because I have a coaching call. <laughs> I'm such a brat. All right, so it calls for four tablespoons of butter. By the way, usually when I do something like this on my own, I just make it up and then it usually turns out. But I'm trying, trying to be specific for you so we don't mess anything up. You're welcome. Okay, so this is eight tablespoons. Yeah, I should have known that, but I didn't, so. I'm gonna go ahead and plop it in this measuring cup. My fancy little polka dot measuring cup, 15 seconds. Wipe this down just in case there's any dust on it. And then also this is eight, six, two. This is eight ounces too. Oh, I could have just read the package. Hi, Caitlin, how are you? So I have preheated, by the way, the oven at 350. By the way, welcome to the newbies. Oh my gosh, Kim, I love you right now. I'm hungry, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean. That made me so happy. I'm just gonna stack. <laughs> Sometimes don't, don't watch something. <laughs> You know this is gonna be a disaster. Why do I do this? Can you guys see everything, by the way? I just want to, want to make sure you get. All right, we got melted butter. <laughs> We're about to have a cream cheese explosion. My favorite, my favorite. I'm excited about my swerve. I'm weird, I love swerve. Like, I could just eat swerve. Anybody else with me? It's really weird. Just, just have the swerve. All right, you guys are probably cookie makers, so you probably know this. All right, we're gonna start with the butter and then the swerve. Swerve is life. This is your best friend in keto. This is your best friend in keto. Baked goods, almond flour, and this are your jams. Promise you that. I have to double the recipe, so I gotta keep looking back. Um, three fourths cup. I have confectioners. Oh, it says use granular. Fine, I'll be a rule follower. Use granular. Now, if I was not recording this with you guys, making this for you, I just would have used confectioners because I don't like to listen to people. And there goes all my swerve. Granular. Okay. We're gonna throw that in the mixer. I'm gonna throw that with the butter. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I could just eat that right there. <laughs> it's seriously so good. I'm not going to, by the way. I don't even get any of this right now. I might take a bite to taste it for you, but like, I'm gonna freeze it. It's not on plan. You guys know that's like a sweet, doughy, 
butter. You re it could all end right there. It's so delicious. Keto 101, right there. But don't overdo that. All right, so, oops. Oopsie. I need to carve a little bit off of that cream cheese. So I'm gonna need two eggs. Okay, so I'm gonna need two tablespoons of vanilla. Cream, see, I don't like following orders, but I'm going to, I'm going to. Hi, honey. There goes the cream cheese. and then add two tablespoons of vanilla. That's a teaspoon, so don't do that. I just did one tablespoon, so we should be fine. <laughs> okay, three cups almond flour. This is gonna be a big batch, so everybody better like it next week, because where's my almond butter? cream cheese and then mix. So we're gonna start mixing that. Got the vanilla in there. And then we're gonna add six cups of almond flour. So the recipe is gonna be half that and I'll, I'll have, that's the recipe I'll have for you guys. Two cups. It looks so good and doughy. Very, very good and doughy. Okay, so then I'm gonna add an egg. So remember, this is a sugar cookie, right? And there's also gonna be an option to add icing later. And you could even wrap it in the like parchment paper, make it a circle. I'm not doing any of that, it's gonna taste the same. So we're good to go there. Exactly how cookie dough should taste. Hi, Sarah. How are you? So from there, you guys, 
350. The oven's already preheated. This is how simple it is. I know I was trying to read specific instructions for you guys. I didn't have time to lay it out. It took me a long time to get to the store because of the rain. People are weird. But um, I am just going to scoop. I'm super simple like that. But if you guys wanted to do the sugar cookie thing, you got to wrap it in the parchment paper, make it a circle, and then you freeze it and then slice it. Oh, no. So I'm going to make a few like this. And then I'm going to have the recipe, like if you guys want to add, um, if you want to add icing, that's going to be added there too. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to post the picture and, and, um, post it for you. So super simple. Hi, Donnell. How are you? Do you need to do two eggs or did you do two? I did one. Good question. Thank you. Um, I did a little bit of egg white and it was fine because I just tasted it make sure and if not then I'm going to make sure I do the two eggs do the two eggs though it's pouring rain and I didn't want to leave you guys and go out to the garage I have another egg in the garage, in the garage. I didn't want to go I have to put my shoes on like it was going to take too long so I do know that some recipes call for egg whites so I know that there was one full egg in there and just one egg white so I just did that I winged that a little bit but I kind of know that I could so it's okay but do two eggs okay um, yeah, the, re the main, the original recipe is going to be posted and then you guys would double it. If you're going to have some kind of party and you want to take these to the party, like I'm hosting a party next Friday, I'm going, I'm just doubling the recipe. I'm going to freeze these bad boys and get them out next week and then, um, ice them because I wanted to make it early for you guys. So, all right, you guys, I hope this was helpful. Um, on the comments, I will post a picture of the final result. Any tweaks I need to make, I'll, I will have that in the description. Okay, I hope you guys are having an amazing, amazing day. Next Thursday, I'm gonna do another um, recipe for you. And then next Tuesday, I will do another uh, video as well. 1-11 on Tuesdays and 11-11 on Thursday. I love you guys, I hope you're having an amazing Christmas. Merry Christmas, it's a good year, be happy. I love you guys, bye.